Work example 7 asks us to factorize z squared plus 4z plus 13 over c. Let's for a moment forget about over c and we say z squared, z squared plus 4z plus 13 and we just factorize that. Now what we usually would have done is just have two brackets and then factorize. However, if we can't do that, we would have used the difference of two squares. And for those of you who can't remember the difference of two squares, that is where I say if I have x squared plus bx plus b over 2 squared, then that is the same as the x over b over 2. So if I have it in this form, then x plus b over 2 squared is the is completing a square so that is that now what i want to do is i want to rewrite that so it's in this form so this is going to equal z squared plus 4z and now i'm going to put the bracket around i'm going to say let's move that 13 over there and i want to now write this thing in terms of that to do that i'll have to take 4 the b and divide it by 2 so it's going to be plus and I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 4, divide by 2, and I'm going to square it. But if I add it here, I must also subtract it. Otherwise, I'm changing the value. Okay, so I'm going to subtract. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. Now, this is in this form, which means I can rewrite this like I've done there. It means that this bracket is z plus 4 divided by 2 is 2, so that equals z plus 2 squared. Minus 4 plus 13 is plus 9. What we also learned in year 9 is that if I have x plus b over 2 squared, and I have it, let's say, minus c, then I can rewrite this as the difference of two squares. I can say that this is x plus b over 2 minus square root c, r c, x plus b over 2 plus square root c because square root c times square root c will be negative c now i can't do it because that's a plus 9 so i don't have the difference of two squares here and this is where the over c comes in so i can rewrite this not with any real factors this thing does not have real factors but what i can do is i can change that to a negative 9 I'm going to say this is z plus 2 squared, and I'm going to change this plus 9 to a negative. But I can't just change with a negative because I can't just multiply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is the same as, what is negative 1? Negative 1, I can say, is i squared. Remember, I'm going to say i squared, i squared equals the square root of negative 1 squared, which equals negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 9 is positive 9. Now I have the difference of two squares, because this is z plus 2 squared. Take away, and I'm going to write 9i squared as 3i squared. I've got the difference of two squares now. This will give us z plus 2, take 3i, z plus 2 plus 3i. This is the factor of z squared over c because we have compound numbers there, um, complex numbers there.